Monopoly by Camilla Chudham. A monopoly is a market structure where only one firm exists and many buyers exist. In the UK, any firm with over 25% market share is classed as a monopoly. It has four key characteristics. The first is it is the only firm in the industry. The second is that there are high barriers to entry, hence why it's a monopoly. Um, it is a price maker and it is a profit maximizer. Well, um, monopolies tend to have brand loyalty given that they are the only firm and for this reason it also has inelastic demand. These features allow monopolies to make super normal profits and this is why many firms in competitive markets create deliberate barriers to entry in order to become a monopoly. Monopolies usually determine their own price because in the market they're the only firms. They usually exploit it by charging higher prices to create super normal profits and they usually engage in price discrimination as they can. Also, the reason why some monopolies may charge a lower price is because the theory of contestable markets suggests that the threat of a new firm entering a market worries monopolies. So they may charge a low price and make a normal profit, which will not attract rivals to the industry. And the second is, particularly with natural monopolies, the government may regulate the market, which means that they will have to charge at a lower price. This is the monopoly diagram and as you can see they are operating at MC equals MR, the profit maximizing output and at this output they're making a super normal profit. If you were trying to show a loss making monopoly you would simply draw the AC cuff much higher. A monopoly is neither allocatively efficient or productively efficient in the short run and long run. It does not need to be productively efficient in order to minimize costs because it will already benefit from economies of scale and lower costs and make large amounts of profits to cover these costs. And as for allocatively efficient, well if it was allocatively efficient it would not be making the profit that it could be making, hence why they only are allocatively efficient if government regulations say that the monopoly must be. Costs and benefits to consumers of a monopoly. Well, one of the biggest costs is that there is poor consumer welfare. Monopolies have a lower output and a higher price. They are not efficient, which has many implications. And arguably, because they reduce competition and there's not many, and there's not hardly any firms in the market, this means that innovation and fresh ideas are not also there. And this is something which is important to ensure variety for consumers in a market. However, there are benefits like. For uh, firms make super normal profits so they can invest in research and development if they make sky high profits for one of their monopoly uh, monopoly products then they can cross subsidize for other products and charge a lower price they benefit from economies of scale which they can pass on to the consumer the lower price unlike an oligopoly prices are stable and consumers are not constantly being flung here and there and there is international competitiveness, they're so big they can take on international competition. And the theory of contestable market states that actually they might not be that bad given that they are contestable. Thank you for watching. Please visit my blog A2 with Camilla.